Timers, Dr. Duck here to welcome you back to McCracken County Public Library's Virtual Storytime. Hooray! <laughs> this week, I encourage you to practice learning about the letter D. Yeah, reading it, uh huh, singing about it, signing it, and looking for things that start with it. Here is the capital letter D. Mm -hmm, that's the big one. And you know there's also a little d. Look at them together. Big D and little d. Now, here is the sign for the letter D that you can make with your hand. Yeah, you can do it. Just practice like this. There it is. D. And the sound D makes is D. D. Let's sing the sound together. I got D, D, D. In my hand, I got D, D, D. In my hand, I got D, D, D. In my hand, and I can read the letter D. Yeah, and its sound is D, D. Good job. It's time for our favorite game, I Spy. Get your magnifying glass ready, and let's see if we can find some letter D words. Let's see. I spy with my little eye something that begins with a letter D, and it is... Oh, look at that handsome one. Duh, duh, duck. Uh-huh, great job. Next one. Mm. Oh! Uh-huh, lots of delicious duh, duh, donuts. Good job. Last one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know this. Duh, duh, dog. Woof, woof. You got it, kids. Now let's read Brary's digital book. Hello, friends. Derek here to read you a book called Dog Loves Drawing, written and illustrated by Louise Yates. And a big thank you to the publisher Penguin Random House for providing this book. Dog loved books. He loved books so much that he opened his own bookshop. And you can see him there on top of that ladder grabbing a book from way high up. When he wasn't sharing books with others, Dog was reading them himself. One morning, a package arrived. Inside was a book but as Dog opened it up, he saw to his surprise that it had no words and no pictures. How curious, he thought. Just inside the cover, he noticed a message from his Aunt Dora that read, To my dearest dog, may the lines you draw open a door to some wonderful adventures. With love, from your Aunt Dora. And there's Aunt Dora right there writing that message. It was a sketchbook. Dog knew exactly what to do. He pulled out his pens, laid out his brushes, sharpened his pencils, took a deep breath, and drew a door. He stepped through it, and on the empty page in front of him, Dog drew a stick man. Hello, said the stick man. Hello, said Dog. I'm not sure what else to draw. And there they are, just figuring out what to draw together. Let's doodle, suggested the stick man. That's the best way to come up with ideas. So that is what they did. Then they turned the page together. It would be even more fun if there were others to join in, said Dog. So Dog drew a duck, and the duck drew an owl, and the owl drew a crab, and the crab did some coloring in. Soon they were all spilling on to the next page. What now, they wondered. Let's go on an outing, hooted the owl. So Dog drew a train, and they all climbed aboard. And there they all are, just hanging out on their brand new train they drew. 
While the duck was arguing with the others about who should drive, the stick man drew himself a driver's hat, scribbled some steam, and they were off. The scenery streaked past them. They were traveling so fast. At last, the stick man drew the train to a stop. Dog got out and drew a boat while the crab scribbled some sea. And there's Dog scribbling them a brand new rowboat. They climbed aboard, all except the crab who clung on to the side. The stick man drew some sandwiches because he was very hungry. The owl copied the sandwiches because she was hungry too. And the duck drew an enormous cake because he was the hungriest of them all. Dog colored in a cloudless sky and they drifted. The boat drifted a long way before land appeared. They all got out and stretched their legs. The crab drew a parasol to protect himself from the sun. Then the duck decided to draw a monster. And that spoiled everything. The monster chased them all the way around the island and on to the next page. Then dog had a brilliant idea. He quickly drew a door and leaped through it. On the other side, he found himself back in the bookshop. He turned to the last page of his sketchbook and made sure that all his friends were safe and that the monster could not escape. And there's monster all trapped behind the door in the book. Then he dashed out to buy some more paper. Dog loves drawing, and the very next thing he drew was a thank you card for his Aunt Dora. The end. Thank you, friends, for reading along with me. Did you see or hear the letter D? Thank you, Mr. Derek, for reading us that book. And yes, we spied the letter D in the word duh, duh, dog. Dog loves drawing. Great focus, story timers. That's the end of story time. Can I get three cheers? Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Thank you.